Hey there, comic fam. Welcome to Climbing Comics. I'm Alan, and today we'll be talking about my comic journey's 2020 goals. Hey there again, comic fam. Welcome back to Comic Journey. So today we'll be talking a little bit about my 2020 goals. So from being um, collection goals to kind of knowledge goals in terms of what I want to do this year. So how did I come up with having goals? So I think when I got back into comics, what you heard from the last episode when in 2019, I went to a local comic shop, started following certain YouTubers, started following certain people on Instagram, and and basically had all of these ideas in my head of what I wanted to do with my collection, right? I was just restarting again, basically had um, one short box, cardboard short box, and I was like, all right, let's, let's see what I could read. So I started reading a bunch of, of new books outside of what I talked about last time, War of the Realms, um, Spider-Gwen, uh, Miles Morales, Justice League Dark. I started following a bunch of different, um, different books like Batman Who Laughs, um, New Agents of Atlas, a bunch of Boom things, um, a Boom Boom Studios books, as well as started kind of venturing into some horror like Basket Full of Heads uh, from DC, like um, I think that's the, the Hill Collection. So during this time, one of the things that I wanted to do was um, try to collect like a certain set of something, right? So I didn't know what it was at first, but I knew I liked Spider-Man. Uh, one of the things that came out, one of my first short boxes actually was one of the uh, Symbiote Spider-Man uh, boxes. So I wanted to see like, can I collect a couple of the first appearances of, of the black suit Spidey, right? So I looked it up. Um, of course, it's that homage cover of ASM 252, which is an homage to um, AF-15, uh, where Spider-Man Spider -Man has that black suit and he's carrying the dude and he's just kind of flying around. So outside of that, there's that um, Secret Wars 8, right, where Spider-Man's like, oh my gosh, and he basically has his suit on. And after like looking some of that stuff up, I realized um, there are other books that were also the first appearances of this um, black Spidey suit. So I looked it up. There was uh, Marvel Team Up uh, 141. So that had, I think, Black Widow and Daredevil on the cover. That was a cool cover. So I, I remember seeing that. But then again, I heard that Spectacular Spider-Man 141. So this is where Black Cat is, in the, is on the cover. That was also one of these first appearances of Spidey. This was pretty interesting to me because I'm like, when did this all come come about, right? So this is all 1984, and a lot of a lot of the books kind of came out in different months. So depending on what month the book came out, maybe it was like the origin story or the first appearance, or I even I even like read that uh, Marvel Age 12 there was like some sketches of Spidey in that in that book itself. So to me, the iconic ones were. Um, Secret Wars 8 with Spider-Man front and center kind of like oh my god what is this suit and then um, ASM 252 that's on iconic cover so those were some of the two things that I first collected in terms of trying to get that mini goal of of black suit Spidey so I ended up collecting those two I ended up also collecting um, what is that Marvel Team Up 141 and you know, spectac Spectacular Spider-Man um, 90. So amongst those three, I felt like, okay, which ones are the most valuable to me? And to me, it was 252 and eight, right? I'm like, what do I want to put on my wall, right? Those are, those are the two I want to put on my wall. So there's that seed now in my head of trying to figure out what I want versus like what the community and what everyone is kind of saying is is uh, the first appearances of... Of Spidey so you know I'll bring this up in a future episode but I think it's a very important thing to think about in your own collection where you kind of have um, personal keys where that's to me 252 and um, Secret Wars 8 and then perceived keys like where that's also um, 
you know, based off of the timeline, this is their first appearance or not. Um, if it's a minor first appearance or if it's a full-blown first appearance, if they appear on the cover, there's a lot of different, and it's uh, a lot of different opinions on um, what first appearances are versus what people hold as a gold standard, right? Um, people hold like CGC's um, information as a gold standard. So I kind of wanted to reason out why, like, why did I have um, these goals? Like, why, why did I want to do this? So I kind of came to realize that my pull list was way too long. Um, the stories I was trying to read, it was really hard to keep up with like seven different storylines with all completely different characters. And it, it's kind of hard like to have that continuity between all of these different characters. So at the same time, um, I was <laughs> I was Marie Kondoing my place, right? So. Um, I don't know if, if many of you have seen, but on Netflix, Marie Kondo, she, she helps people organize and, and kind of only keep things that are valuable to them. And then kind of, and if it brings you joy, um, you bring it in, you keep it in. And then if it doesn't, then you could let it go, right? So to me, I was collecting a little bit too much of everything, right? So I, I wanted to take a look at um, my own collection. So I looked at my collection and I came to realize, or I came to the, you know, that, that kind of, that light bulb on top of my head where I was like, I don't know if this is really my collection. Does this really represent me and the things that I like, right? It was a little bit of everything, a little bit too spread out, but I was like, this is a, a speculator's collection or if this is mine, right? So I essentially um, came to realize that, all right, there's a turning point for me, right? So 2020 hit and I was like, all right, there's there's a lot of things that people say are are kind of, yeah, they're like kind of just common keys amongst the whole community, right? But I also came to, to realize what do I value the most in my collection? And those were the books that I really liked uh, based off of the storylines, which I really liked. So, you know, for example, I didn't want three words to, to kind of drive what I'm going to collect, right? When <laughs> I love Donny Cates, but when he basically says Null is coming, I don't want that to only drive me uh, to collect Venom 3, uh, first appearance of Null, right? Like to me, I want to be able to collect something because I like the storyline. I like to, I like the cover or I like something about it, right? So of course, like, I'm not going to say that I don't do that. So I, I definitely, uh, when I realized that Null is coming and I realized that I'm also reading and enjoying the Venom series by Donny Cates, I was like, all right, let, let's kind of start adding this to my um, watch list, right, from all the different sites that I use and, and whatnot. So from here, I, I, kind of, I kind of came to the point where, all right, let's just turn off all the noise, figure out what I like, and then kind of um, start 2020 off strong and with purpose, right? So to like one of my good buddies, like um, Walt, uh, like I chat with him at, at my LCS. He basically is like, uh, when people are zigging, he zags. And I'm like, all right, that matches. And, you know, that matches with a lot of the lessons that I've learned from Reggie Clex when he talks about red ocean and blue ocean, hot books versus books that are not so hot today. And to me, I'm like, if I have my own set of like, let's say 10 to 20 key books that are like personally what I want, like that allows me to look, right? Like maybe not all 20 of those books will be in this red ocean where it's very hard to attain because a lot of people want them, but some of them might be in the blue ocean. So, you know, just having that goal and being able to have like a very focused goal was able, like I was able to in 2020 kind of check mark that list off right so i like writing things down and i had those lists of 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 20 books and i'm like all right each time i cross it off it just felt like i'm accomplishing something that'll help my um, comic journey like really really like kind of blast off so let's let's get into the books right so one of the things i mentioned in my first in my first video was I'm really into Justice League Dark. So Justice League Dark is is one of the like 
starting from Young Justice with Zatanna and Zatara, to reading the books of Justice League Dark, reading、uh, John Constantine's Hellblazer,、um, and just reading a bunch of Swamp Thing books and and everything. It was it was kind of nuts. So I I was like, my goal this year will be one, collect certain first appearances of Justice League Dark characters.、Um, there's a bunch of characters in Justice League Dark. I, for one, am not going to collect、um, Wonder Woman or first appearance of Wonder Woman, but I basically created a list, right? Of these are the list of characters of Justice League Dark, and these are the comics that are their first appearances. And I started, like, you know, throughout this year, started、uh, like obtaining those books, right? So outside of that, I think one of the things that I also really liked was Amazing Spider Man. But I think for me to to make a goal of collecting, for example, one through one hundred, would be really really difficult to do in a span of a year for me. So I'm like, all right, let's let's break this up. Let's hit the soft spot of the market and and kind of collect certain books.、Um, so I went with let's collect all the ASM annuals this year, right? At least like that has that string of continuity、um, throughout the entire Spider-Man storyline. So to me, that'll be the skeleton of my ASM collection, and I'm gonna fill out the rest with the meat of like all the ASMs, right? From from the beginning, I was collecting a bunch of random, like lower number Spideys, maybe double digits, and it was kind of all over the place. So essentially, I wanted to collect the annuals because then I'll be able to read them and kind of have like a little snippet of what's going on that year. My third goal for for this year is collecting the X Men Dark Phoenix Saga series, right? So this is like in the middle of Chris Claremont's、um, run with、um, with X Men, and the Dark Phoenix Saga is like one of my favorite like story arcs. So that's going to be my my third one of this year. So those are my comic book collecting goals, and then there's another goal that I have this year. And that's a comic knowledge gap filling goal. So, the reason I want to do this is, I want to understand why I'm driven to do and collect certain things, right? So, to me, I started reading Amazing Spider-Man number one through however many I could. I try to read one every week on Marvel Unlimited. So this way, I kind of understand the storylines of each. I of course like I did not have the opportunity to read those in the '60s when they were out, like on like、um, printed. So now, luckily, with it being electronic,、um, with my Marvel Unlimited sc- subscription, I'm able to read one, and I try to try to finish reading one every week. And this will actually help me in my future goals to to figure out if I want to collect lower number Spideys, what story arcs and storylines are my favorite, because I'll likely collect those first. So this allows、uh, me the opportunity to one knowledge gap fill, so I know the storylines, I know some of the history, and、um, kind of know what I want to collect in the future. This is I, one of the things that I've, I've come to realize from reading these early ASM books, are that one of the things I like the most are the、uh, fan letters that they post in the back, and you know Stan Lee's responses to those fan letters because they're essentially like. Our, you know, our reviews that we have today, like Yelp reviews or or reviews on on like、um, if you purchase anything on Amazon or like any feedback you get from from people, people were doing this via like correspondence mail. So it was kind of nice to see how that、um, how Stan kind of responded to those and which ones he、um, which ones he、um, posted and published. And it seemed pretty fair, pretty like like he posted both good and bad and like everything. It, it was kind of it brought me back to the time, right? You, not just like those '60s or '70s、um, ads, but also also these commentaries from from fans. So, of this list, I think I've I've started hitting the majority of my comic goals.、Um, so this year's been hard, right? Since a lot of us are working from home and staying home mostly, I've had the opportunity to still purchase books from my LCSs because they are, you know, posting online. 
uh, on Instagram, they're doing live claim sales. So early on, I was buying a ton of books, but now I've kind of tapered off because I know, does this help me reach my goal for the end of the year? Or does this help me reach even my stretch goal, right? Or am I just purchasing this for, because it's a cool cover, right? For me, I'm, I'm, I like the, the backstory behind the books that I purchase, right? I like the, the story arcs behind them, or if it means something to me, or if it, if it kind of peripherally has some sort of value to me, right? Like reading those, those um, fan um, feedbacks in the back or, or, or having something special or, or kind of historic about that book. So I, I hold a lot of value in that. And so it's, it's one of the things where I really enjoy this comic journey because, you know, this is how I feel today. And these are my goals for today. But, you know, I could reset and change it up for next year or anytime I want to. But I really like setting those goals for myself because, you know, I, I like to feel accomplished with the things that I do. I like to not just do things randomly um, just to kind of catch up with everyone else. I kind of like to make my own story. I like to make my own journey and try to try to make it special for myself. So when I look back on it, like I'm like, all right, these are the books I really like. And I get super excited. You know, I could talk to my friends about these books and, you know, even if they're obscure, they're special to me. So, and I could talk about them and it's, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of a cool experience, right? Just going through this. So I think what I'm going to do, um, is is kind of reset next year but i'll i'll do a um i'll do a check i'll do a pulse check on this um towards the end of the year i know we're three quarters of the way through the year right now and i've i've made a pretty solid dent in it but i want to be able to to come to you and kind of tell you a little bit about where i started because this is my planning video and then i'll i'll show you like my um my kind of ending video in which we could see if I've collected what I wanted to collect and filled those gaps in which I wanted to fill. So I think this is this is still going to be a fun journey. So definitely just to close this up, I, I think I want to say um, from my comic journey to yours, make it your own. Thanks everyone. Bye. <laughs>